This is Jay He. I am a health science specialist at Palo Alto VA Medical Center and also a postdoc researcher affiliated with the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Stanford University. My first scientific mentor was my undergraduate research mentor, Dr. Koichi Masuda at UC San Diego. During the second year um, of undergrad, I began volunteering in Dr. Masuda's lab. He introduced me to orthopedic research and gave me many hands-on opportunities at the bench top, tissue culture room, histology lab, and in front of the micro CT. Perhaps related to me growing up with arts and creating illustrations, being a visual person, I quickly found that I was fascinated by the application of micro CT to visualize these skeletal structures. And then I was able to apply the structure and function relationship that I learned in bioengineering courses to link these structural findings to their function or malfunction to study skeletal diseases. Thinking back, I think it was quite early in my research journey when Dr. Masuda sparked my scientific curiosity and provided me with an environment to not only explore but also enjoy orthopedic research. Through Dr. Masuda, I met my master's thesis advisors, Dr. Nozomu Inoue, an orthopedic surgeon who self-taught programming and created numerous image-based biomechanics software, and Dr. Alejandro Espinosa, whose research is dedicated to creating functional and not just anatomically re representative models for biomechanics research. I began my graduate studies under their mentorship in the Spine Biomechanics Lab at Rush University Medical Center. My first project was quantifying fatty infiltration in deep lumbar spine muscle using clinical MR images. The second project was facilitating the development of 3D lumbar spine models in different functional positions to create a public repository. These projects allow me to continue my interest in skeletal structure and function relationships but with new skills. Um, adding to the application of CT and MR imaging to parameterize skeletal structures was um, biomechanical testing of cadaveric specimens and marker-based motion capture. In addition, Dr. Inoue and Dr. Espinosa host many orthopedic surgeons traveling internationally to the Department of Orthopedic Surgery at Rush for research. And that was my initial early opportunity to interact closely with the surgeons um, that allowed me to gain their perspectives on how research can help improve clinical practice. After my master's, I wanted to do more than um, learn from the surgeon's perspective. I wanted to continue um, contribute to be a part of clinical research and being even closer to the clinicians and patients to learn their needs so to guide my research. So I decided to pursue my PhD in the Human Motion Analysis Lab at Rush under the mentorship of an engineer and clinician trio, um, Dr. Marcus Wimmer, an engineer who leverages human movement data to develop, uh, develop OA interventions and designs of artificial joints. Dr. Christopher Fiverino, a physical therapist, PhD researcher, and Dr. Najah Shakur, a rheumatologist. I also had many mentors in the department, many of those whom I cannot name in this short video. All these mentors at Rush show me another important part of research, scientific and educational outreach. Um, we had a lot of memorable experience. Uh, for example, we brought all the motion analysis equipment, including the cameras and the force plates, to ballet studio, um, climbing gym in the community for outreach. Um, we share with young students our orthopedic research experience and how science can be merged with their interest in arts and sports. In addition to scientific and professional mentors, um, my doctoral research involved many hours of gait testing with individuals living with painful osteoarthritis. These research participants um, I consider as my non-scientific mentors. Interacting with them in front of them, I think I became more humble and recognized how much I didn't know about osteoarthritis and living with painful knees, but still trying to keep up with physical activity for overall health. Um, thinking about helping people with an increased risk of OA, but at 
a much earlier time point, I decided to pursue postdoctoral training under the mentorship of Dr. Constance Chu, a renowned clinician scientist who treats and conducts research across the spectrum of OA, from pre-OA to established OA. Our lab at Stanford and Palo Alto VA conducts research under an interdisciplinary framework. Our team is made of researchers with expertise with um, imaging and biomarkers. I joined to support the mechanics aspect. A goal of the lab is to leverage these interrelationships between biology, structure, and mechanics to identify markers that can indicate OA risks, including those that are potentially modifiable. The projects I am involved in include studying platelet-rich plasma as a potential OA treatment among patients with early OA, and gait retraining for patients two years post-ACL reconstruction with elevated OA risks. These are individuals who are still young, but with old knees. The rich data sets, including blood biomarkers, MRI, and gait, have provided insights into how individuals' treatment responses and recoveries differ. Quantifying OA risks and identifying patients with high OA risks are challenging. Um, this has been especially true for motion analysis, commonly conducted in a lab setting with specialized cameras and force plates. Recent technology and algorithm offer possibility to conduct motion analysis outside of the lab and at larger scales. My recent research project is designed to help address this challenge. It involves OpenCAP, a new software that was developed at Stanford, which bridges post-estimation algorithms, machine learning, and musculoskeletal modeling to enable motion analysis with smartphones and in different settings. The project goal is to apply OpenCAP in extracting biomechanical markers from performance-based assessments of physical functions that are commonly practiced in physical therapy clinics for individuals with osteoarthritis. For my career goal, I would like to consider the OpenCAP project as a starting point. I want to continue to gain research independence and develop my research line. With my engineering background and experience in clinical research, I hope to serve as a mediator between clinicians and engineers, assisting clinicians in evaluating new technology for appropriate scenarios and settings, and provide clinicians and patients feedback back to the engineers to improve the technology for successful implementation. Um, or has provided me regardless of where, um, where I am uh, with many opportunities to grow in orthopedic research. My first co-author abstract was at ORS 2012 when I was an undergraduate student. My first po podium presentation was at ORS 2016 when I was a master's student. ORS 2024 was special. I received the new investigator research award moderated an ORS uh, section for the first time, and the summer research student whom I mentor gave a podium presentation. My favorite thing about ORS is the community and the people who form the community. Um, every annual meeting is a reunion with friends and a meeting with new friends. In the environment, over time, I became comfortable um, starting to have these conversations with mentors, peers about career development and working life, not, not just research. I believe diversity and inclusion are important. Um, I met a Lyft driver on my way to ORS 2022 annual meeting. She shared her struggles with knee pain and her efforts to learn about healthy diets through social media. However, she expressed frustration at the high cost of fruits and vegetables, making it difficult to maintain a nutritious um, diet. Her experience highlights how social economic barriers can limit access to health, reminding me of the consideration of diversity and inclusion, taking into account the unique viewpoints that, that challenge my assumptions and broaden the understanding of challenges others face. Outside of research, I like hiking and climbing, and when I feel stressed about work, um, I create illustrations. 
um, interestingly, many of these illustrations actually became part of my, my thesis and scientific presentation. And recently, I've uh, included them in the grant, uh, in grants. 